phishing, an art that modern hackers use these days to steal your sensitive information and passwords. And it is possible on any website in the entire world. The hacker can get your credentials in literally seconds. Today in this video, we'll be talking about how to protect yourself from these attacks and how simple it is to do one. Let's get started. So let's first understand what phishing actually is. Phishing is a cyber attack that hackers use to steal your information and passwords by disguising themselves as some people you trust, maybe a bank account, a government website, or maybe a friend. So you might have seen these kind of emails or SMS messages where it is warning you that there is some suspicious activity in your account and it urges you to go to a link and log into your account to fix it. But here's the catch. So that websites are mostly designed by hackers that look exactly like the website that you want to go to and they try to steal your information through it. Now this will seem a lot better once I go into the practical version and I actually show you how hackers are able to do this. Now let's get started on what actually hackers do to get into your system or to fetch passwords through phishing. Now as I told you it will just take under 5 minutes. So let's get started. So this is my Kali machine and if you are into ethical hacking and cyber security I recommend you to get one. And if you don't want a separate computer, you can also run this as virtual machines. So right here, coming back to our phishing thing, uh, you can actually do this on any operating system here. I'll be using Linux, but you can do this same commands on Mac and I'll show you which commands to do on windows. So if I go on my Firefox, I already have this page loaded up. This is the GitHub page for Blackfish. So we'll be using the Blackfish tool for phishing today. And if I go a bit down, as you can see, we have got all the windows commands that you need to run this tool on windows let's go up first thing we need to do is that we need to click on this code right here copy this and go on to our terminal and here let's cd into my desktop desktop right and i'm going to be using the git command so if you don't have git installed in your system uh, what you can do is you can write pip3 install git right or you can use the command uh, apt get install. So sudo apt apt get install and then you can just type git. So you can use this command to install git. Once you have that installed, I already have it. So just type git clone and the link that we copied right here, this link, right? Press enter and it will clone the entire repository into your local system. So after it is done, uh, let's just change our directory to blackfish, press enter and let's list everything. Now according to the documentation, you have to install everything first. Let's just go on install.sh right here. So we have got install.sh, copy it, let's paste it right here and I'm going to put in my password and there it goes. So now it is installing everything that I need to run this tool on my system, right? So all prerequisites that we need. And there you go. Once it's done, it will show you to run this command. So let's just say what it, let's just do what it says. We'll just copy this command right here. Oh, whoops, it's not copying fully. Let's just press tab, dot pi, press enter and it will run some prerequisites and there you have Blackfish installed. It was that sim simple to install it on any operating system. Now let's start phishing. It will ask first, will you use this responsibly? Just press Y, press enter. And here you can see that we have got six options, six websites that we can run. So let's go on Google first. Let's go and two, and we'll be using the local tunnel. If you have ngrock installed, you can use that as well. Let's just select the second option and we'll just set this to default. So just press enter here. Uh, again, press enter, press enter, and it'll come out for this. So waiting for victim to open this URL right here. So let's just copy this or it is just a local host. We can go on to Firefox 127.0.0.1 and there we have our Google page. Now, as I explained it to you earlier, this is not actually a real Google page. So this is a fake page that the hacker has built to trick you into putting your credentials in. Now, the main task about phishing is to get this URL into the target system. So that's why people keep telling you not to click unknown URLs through WhatsApp messages and SMS messages and emails, right? So you should never ever click any URL which you don't already know where it goes. Any untrusted URL, you should never click. So let me show you how easy it is. So the user goes right here and I type uh, test gmail.com 
then i'll press next as if everything is going right then i just put in the password press next and it'll just show an error so the user might think that this is a normal thing right so this keeps on happening so what he'll do he'll just go back to gmail and just continue on with his life but what he does not know is that behind his back all his information has gone up to the hacker as you can see right here we have got the email and the password so it is that simple to do phishing so as promised now let's look at some pointers that you can use to prevent yourself from these attacks first is email filters now every big email company like gmail or yahoo have these filters already installed so the spam folder that you see are basically filled with all of these emails so just to be sure you should not click any link which has any suspicious email or you don't verify it by a trusted website before the second point is that you should use multi-factor authentication now this is basically two-factor authentication this does not prevent the hacker but it makes his job much much difficult it is advisable that you turn on multi-factor authentication for every single password the third point is you should not use http websites now the s that you see https stands for secure right so http is basically the same algorithm but it is not encrypted so if a hacker can do a man in the middle attack or he can just intercept all your emails he will be able to see the entire email if you are doing HTTP. So that is why it is always advised that you use HTTPS for all websites. The fourth point is shortened links. So you might have seen bitly links on YouTube and on emails, right? So these are shortened links which don't tell you where they are taking. So by seeing the URL, you don't know where you are going from. So I would advise you not to use shortened URLs. You can expand the URL on the bitly website as well. So you can do that first and then you should visit the website. The fifth one is using antivirus software. Now there are a ton of antivirus softwares, but just to name a few, you can use quick heal, you can use Norton and you can use Bitdefender. These are great antivirus softwares and they can prevent you from not only phishing attacks, but all sorts of attacks. If you want to keep your data safe, I recommend you buy one of these and you don't have to pay attention to all of the other pointers. And the last one is implement security layers. So you can implement uh, firewalls on your websites. Basically, once you are visiting any big websites, let's say Google or YouTube, they already have a ton of firewalls. So uh, they are big companies. But if you are visiting websites which are not widely trusted, you should use firewalls before you click on them. If you like the video, be sure you smash that like button down there. And if you are into cybersecurity, machine learning and any kind of cool tech stuff, just subscribe to the channel. It will mean a lot to me. And I'll see you guys next time.